All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the first Demitas work from home signature drink tutorial video. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank everyone who signed up for our inaugural box. This is something we've been working on for a very long time and I'm very excited to share um, a personal signature drink of ours with yours and this, this box that we're very excited about. Um, more than a box, really a home subscription program where you get discounts, we're trying to bring some of the cafe elements to your house, but you can also come and reserve a table and all the sort of the perks. And we're trying to sort of bridge the gap between what you get at the cafe and what you can get at home and sort of bring, bring this all together under one umbrella. And we're very, very excited to share this program with you guys. So again, thank you so much for being part of the inaugural launch. Um, with me as always is the Mighty Mighty Minka. She's our shop mascot um, on our bags and everything else. And so, Wanted to first quickly talk about what's in this week's box. If you signed up for odor almond milk, you will get some odor almond milk. This week's coffee is the Las Moritas from Guatemala. It's a beautiful Pacamara, um, nice little micro lot we sourced. Uh, we buy this coffee every year. It's always a special, really sweet coffee. And we thought uh, for the first box, you guys should get really one of the best coffees we got out of Guatemala this year. So um, enjoy this coffee. You'll be getting one or two pounds of it. And then the signature drink stuff. We're getting chocolate mix to help make a lavender mocha. And we're going to get packets of lavender to make lavender uh, syrup. And then your snack, your artisanal snack, if you will, marshmallows by Plush Puffs. These are the jumbo marshmallows that are super popular in our stores. Um, we use these every day and we're excited to share these with you as well. Um, and we're going to add this to the end of the drink if you want. Um, otherwise, just enjoy them on their own. And um, you should be getting um, two packets of lavender. Um, and then a little uh, fancy little card here. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to start with the recipe for making lavender syrup. We're gonna make the lavender syrup first and then we'll make the mocha using the rest of it. And in the meantime, we're gonna be giving this little monster little treats. So, uh, to start with, you're gonna get a little saucepan, two cups of sugar. You're gonna add three tablespoons of lavender to it, which is basically the whole packet here. But just so everyone can see, that's one, that's two, and that's three. We're gonna add a cup of water. And we're gonna put it on the boil on the burner and let it boil. And once it's up to a boil, you're gonna let it boil for a minute. Uh, and make sure you're stirring pretty aggressively and make sure all the sugars dissolve and the lavender is really being infused. So bring it up to a boil, let it boil for a minute, and then we're gonna strain it um, into a mason jar, whatever you have. You can use cheesecloth, or I just have a little mesh strainer that I'm gonna be using. Um, whatever you have at home works. And also, in terms of sugar, I only have brown sugar here, uh, just because that's my preference, but if you wanna use white sugar or powdered sugar, whatever you have, sugar is sugar. You can even try this with honey, it'll be pretty tasty. I think lavender and honey, you can't go wrong, right? So, give that a good stir. So we're gonna give that about a few minutes to boil. And once it's boiling, we'll strain it. In the meantime, we're going to prepare the actual mocha. So uh, you're gonna get your milk, about six ounces of milk or whatever you like. Uh, get your chocolate powder on. And um, you're gonna use 20 grams of chocolate powder. And that's um, it's about three or four tablespoons. Let's count it out here. That's about 10, so it's about four tablespoons of chocolate mix. Two, three, and four. I'm gonna add one more for good measure, but you wanna use about 40 grams, uh, 20 grams of chocolate or about four tablespoons. Uh, but if you want it more chocolatey, add more chocolate. If you want it less chocolatey, add less chocolate. This is the ratio we're suggesting people use with about six ounces of milk, like so. And then if you were one of the first 30 subscribers, you got in your box an AeroPress with a Prisma attachment. There's a reason why we sent these out to everybody. Um, this is basically what we use to make home espresso. And we did a whole blog and video post on this on our YouTube channel, which this special video won't be on. But um, basically for a lot of home drinks, this is going to be your best option for making quick and dirty espresso. Um, so we're going to use this to make our mochas with. But if you have an espresso machine at home, great. You can use cold brew, like a really concentrated cold brew, or even like a really strong coffee, and still have the same um, effect with that. So, and then this is starting to boil good. So we're gonna get our espresso ready, and then we're gonna add the lavender, uh, the lavender syrup at the end to jazz it up. 
So, uh, to make home espresso using uh, Prismo, we're gonna put 20 grams of coffee in here. Hey, monster. We got our 20 grams of coffee, there we go. You wanna use a pretty fine grind with this device. Um, it's gonna require some arm muscle here. And then we're gonna add about 40 grams of hot water. Not too much. And then we're gonna set it, we're gonna let it stir real aggressively. And then we're just gonna let it steep for about a minute. And then we're gonna press it out into our mocha. Mix it all up, add the lavender, top it with a marshmallow, lavender mocha. Uh, so we're gonna give that a minute. This is about ready to strain. So you guys can't smell this, but my entire kitchen right now smells like lavender. It is a delightful smell. Um, I love lavender. This drink was inspired by a dessert I had in San Francisco, Jesus, maybe 12, 15 years ago at a very um, fancy bar and they had a lavender mousse cake. Uh, um, and it was chocolate infused lavender and it was unbelievable and right then and there I was like I need to make a drink out of these this combination and so um, when we opened up our first cafe I, uh, I immediately wanted a lavender mocha or a lavender chocolate and that's what we have so you're just gonna strain this out make sure all the sugars dissolve before you do this I see some sugar sticking to the end of this so I didn't do a very good job at stirring it but that's my problem, not yours, but make sure you do a really good job stirring the sugar and making sure it's dissolved. You may, you may even want to dissolve the sugar first before you add the lavender to this mix. Um, there we go. Learn from my mistakes. Um, this has been on steeping for about a couple minutes here. We're going to press it right into our drink. Always fun. Like I said, it's going to take a little bit of uh, arm power here to get this pressed out. Now, if this takes too much muscle, you probably ground the coffee a little too fine. So just play around with that. If you need it coarser, coarsen the grind up a little bit. You shouldn't hurt yourself doing this, but um, it does take some, some pressure from you to make this uh, magic happen. All right, so we got our espresso milk chocolate. I'm gonna add uh, one tablespoon of lavender syrup, which just smells divine. But if you want it more lavendery or less lavendery, again, um, use your judgment. And there's some sugar in here as well. I'm gonna add a little bit more just because I'm a junkie for lavender. Um, and I'm making a mess everywhere here today. There you go, buddy. And once you have all your ingredients mixed up, you can either uh, put a cap on it, use a stir stick and stir it all up. I've got a chopstick here, which I'm gonna use for something else in one second. Um, if you're using like a mason jar, it might be way easier to just um, shake this up with a lid on it, but I don't know where my lid went. So we're gonna use a chopstick. And as you can see, it all dissolves really nicely. I can smell the chocolate, I can smell the espresso, and I can definitely smell the lavender just everywhere, which for me is just fantastic. And this is, um, for those of you who come to Santa Monica, this is on the secret menu in Santa Monica, so we don't have it actually on the menu board, but we get so many requests for this that we just made it a secret menu item. Um, we don't have a lot of those, but now you guys are in on the secret. All right, so we got our lavender mocha. And to really take it up a notch, Let's put a toasted marshmallow on there, demi toss style. Mm -hmm. These marshmallows are really, really tasty. We've been working with Plush Puffs for years. We love their marshmallows. They do lots of fun flavored marshmallows. Definitely check out their website as a local, um, uh, as a local shop doing really cool stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna toast it up a little bit here because I don't have my big blowtorch that I have in the shops here, but this will get the job done in a, in a heartbeat. Uh-oh, running out of gas. All right, well, that's the end of that. So I got my toasted marshmallow, I got my lavender mocha on. You can make this hot with steamed milk or um, warm up some milk on your stove top. Oh, so good. Don't judge me. Mm. So good. So yeah, you get the lavender, it's a lavender mocha, chocolate, coffee, lavender. It's really just a great combination of flavors. Um, and I will, we will, in the email you get this week, uh, with this link, you should also get um, 
the, the details typed out for how to make this drink. And again, um, that's how you make a lavender mocha. We hope you make it at home. If you guys have any questions, please email me, email us. We will respond to all of your questions about how to do anything coffee related. That's part of the subscription package as you get access to us on demand Zoom, help with your home coffee setup, your, your dial ins, whatever you need. We're here as a resource to help make your home coffee level up, if you will, which I hate using that term, but everyone's using it these days. So we're here to level up your home coffee experience. Um, that's all for now. Next month, we'll have a new signature drink with new signature ingredients and all kinds of fun stuff for you guys. But again, thank you for jumping on this adventure with us for our first uh, work from home box. We hope this is as tasty for you as it is for us. And we hope that you enjoy the coffee, the drinks and the service. Thanks everyone. And um, please email us any feedback, questions or comments you guys have. Cheers.